Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Today's video was also a highly requested one. You guys wanted to know how I shape and maintain my brows. I have always done it at home ever since I remember. I think I probably have gone to the parlor maybe twice in my lifetime, but otherwise I do everything myself. And I wanted to share that with you, especially during times like this, when there's a lockdown and all the parlors are closed, you'll probably have to do it yourself. So self-help is the best help. And I will show you how to do it today. As you can see, I have pretty wild brows. They're thick. And if I let them grow, everything that you see under my shaped, previously shaped brows will grow completely. So I have very thick brows. So if I have to get them done in the parlor, I probably have to go every week because thick hair, you can see them even if they grow out a little bit. So best way to maintain it is to do it myself. The first thing I do is brush my brow hair down. I'm using this pulley. This is from the Precisely My Brow from Benefit. It's a brow pencil. It also comes with this pulley. So with that brush, I'm going to brush my brow hair downwards. As you can see, I have quite a bit of hair growing out on the top side as well. Um, so we'll be brushing the other brow hair downwards too because I have to measure out the top of the brows to make sure they're aligned. And then using a piece of string or thread, I'm going to press it gently against my skin in a straight line looking at myself in the mirror and that'll create a marking. And as you can see, my left brow is a little bit higher than my right brow. So I'm going to mark off the extra so I can tweeze everything about that. And then using the same brow pencil, I'm going to mark above my brows. That's where I'm going to start working first. And I'm going to go along the natural lines of my brows, the natural curve that it has. And we'll go ahead and tweeze everything that's above it. And this is the tweezer that I use. I, oh my God, I don't even know how old this is because ever since I was born, my mom has had this. So she's had it probably forever. Um, but I can give you some options on other tweezers that look exactly like this in the description box below. Now, because I've done this forever, my pain tolerance is pretty high. In fact, I don't feel anything. I go so fast with it. But if it's the first time you're doing it or you're very sensitive to pain, I would say take some ice, put it in a piece of cloth and hold it in the area where you'll be tweezing. Hold it there for about 20, 30 seconds. And then that'll help to numb the area a little bit. And then you can start tweezing. I'm going to quickly clean up using a brush. I'm just using a makeup brush. You can use any brush to clean up or you can also use a wet cloth. And then using the spoolie, I'm going to brush my brow hair upwards. Using the brow pencil, I'm going to be doing exactly the same that I did on top. I'll go in the direction of my brows and whatever is going to be below that marking is what I'm going to twist. So just keep that in mind and shape your brow accordingly. I usually start working on the hair that's away from the border so I can go quickly. I don't really have to worry about pulling any excess hair. And then after I've cleaned up that area, I start working closer to the border and I take extra time to make sure it's very clean. Just so you know, tweezing on the lower side is a little bit more painful than the top side. So again, if you feel that pain, you can use some ice or you can also gently pull on the skin to the side. Don't pull too much because that will cause wrinkles. Be very gentle with your skin. The skin around your eyes is extremely thin and sensitive. So just keep that in mind. So very gently pull on that skin before you start tweezing. That will help to release some of that tension. And as you continue to do this, your tolerance for pain will also go up. And as you maintain your brows, you don't even have to pull so much hair because you wouldn't even let it grow so much. So even if you see a hair just popping out of somewhere, you just pluck it and you maintain your brows basically. On the inner side of my brows, I pluck very little because I like to keep it looking as natural as possible. And then I'm going to use the same brush to clean up the lower side as well. For the most part, tweezers help. They remove all the thick hair, everything that's visible, basically. There's still going to be some hair which is very fine, 
Sometimes you may not be able to pull it using a tweezer and for that you'll need a razor. This one is from Revlon that I use. There are so many other good ones. I'm going to link a few in the description box below. So I just go around my brows using this razor. So it's going to remove any hair that I couldn't see or remove using the tweezer. In the final step, I take the spoolie and brush my brow hair upwards and I cut the extra hair that is longer than what is needed. But make sure you don't cut off too much hair, just cut only that little extra that is not needed. And then I'm going to clean up the borders using a wet Q-tip. Uh, you can also just use a wet cloth. It doesn't even really matter. Now, again, for me, because I don't have sensitive skin, I don't really ice. But if you have sensitive skin, you can use some ice. You can use some cold creams just to soothe the area down. That's pretty much it, you guys. And then I use the same precisely my brow and I only fill in the sparse areas and the bald spots where I have some missing hair. So I just fill in those areas and I'm done. My brows look as natural as it should be, not overly done. And this really helps to maintain my brows on a regular basis. I don't really have to depend on anybody else or any salons or parlors to do my brows. I just do it myself and maintain it and keep it looking neat all the time. I hope this was helpful. Thumbs up if it was. And let me know in the comment section below if you want to watch more videos like these. For your information, I've listed everything that I've used in the description box below along with other options. My socials are listed below. So if you plan to do this, don't forget to tag me. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.